What is going on guys? Dustin here with another NASCAR Diecast review. Now, judging by the title and the look of this video, yes, it's a new driver. It's a, basically an old, older driver. Today, well, I can't believe I'm saying this for the very first time. Then we're taking a look at our first ever Sterling Marlin Diecast. This is also... Actually, this is the first time in a while I ever reviewed a, a Dodge or a Coors Light car before. Now, if I want to crack open a, a beer, guess what? I want to crack open a beer from the Rocky Mountains of Coors Light. And this is the car that... Now this car and a silver bullet of Coors Light would work just for me. So today we're going to take a look at our first ever Sterling Marlin diecast. Now this is actually not, not a usual typical diecast review. This is actually a, a autographed one. First time ever autographed. And this is also a, a dealer exclusive number diecast car. This is actually the 2004 inaugural season of the NASCAR Nextel Cup Series. So you'll see a little bit of a little bit of references of you know welcoming Nextel into the uh, as a new title sponsor. 2004 was a big time transition from Winston to Nextel. You know, we're all used to saying NASCAR wins the Cup Series, and around that time, it was now known now as the NASCAR Nextel Cup Series, which later on became the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, then the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series, and today, the NASCAR Cup Series. So let's go ahead and take a look, look at this car now. Now, we do get this up, bomb, can, bomb display stand right here, which is a actually... Uh, it was requested by the sponsor of Coors Light. Just like uh, Miller Light. Now, speaking of Miller Light, I still have those two Brad Keselowski cars I have that don't have display. Don't have a display base like this. So let's take a look at the front. Now, this is a uh, Dodge. Looks like it's a, a Dodge Intrepid. I would say. Now, oh, I also forgot to mention one more thing. This car, these cars, since are actually uh, sequentially numbered, two thousand and four of these have been made. Now, I knew that one right off the bat. Here we got the Coors Light logo up here. So we've got the Dodge on the front as well. We can go on back now. On top, we got Sterling Marlin's autograph. Now, this is actually, for real, his signature. I promise you, I did not scribble this on. I actually did bought this the way it was. It was signed. Now, I'm taking a look at the sides. Prop phone on the side, but that's okay. Now we got some of the older contingency sponsors from uh, 2003, which I'm pretty sure you saw the uh, the last review. Now this one actually does has its new title sponsor, and you can actually see see since it's blocked off by the light. We got the NASCAR Nextel Cup Series. You also got this uh, little nice mountain detail on the bottom of the car right here. Which actually, since that's where uh, Coors Light is from, I believe it's they're brewed out of uh, Colorado, Denver, I believe, because you know, as I understand a uh, Coors Field, home of the uh, of the Colorado Rockies. We're out there now. Got a little bit of a. Focusing issue. There we go. We can go on back. 
up on B-Pillar, we got Target, we got Haviland. Haviland did win from uh, Robert Yates Racing to Chip Ganassi Racing with Felix Abates. Now, that's an old name that nobody, nobody had heard of in many years. He used to be the crew chief for uh, Kyle Petty way back in the day. Got Microsoft, got Dodge. On SAG 360, Snap on Tools. Going back, we got Coors Light. On the sides, we also got the same sponsor, Coors Light on the trunk and the, uh, the back. We also got the Dodge lining on the back. Now, these are not rookie stripes. Normally, if I do a rookie, rookie review, I would present the stripes, but in this case, it's not. This actually, you know, helps welcome Nextel into the uh, Cup Series, and they ran these cars with these uh, decals on here. It's one side say "Welcome Nextel," and the other one would say "2004 Inaugural Season." Now, I think uh, last, I think, uh, I think the Truck Series ran the uh, when it was the Gander Outdoors Truck Series. I think they did have uh, have that same just on the uh, back of the spoiler. When I say these are numbered, I meant it for real. Got Nexto Cup inaugural edition. New Callan on the inside. We also got the number, which is 1148. Ooh, man. It's not a poor one. Open up the back. We also got the fuel tank. We got that uh, fuel line that runs in there from, from the fuel intake all the way inside. The other side is the same way. I still love that mountain detailing that's on the bottom of the car, which actually really makes it look amazing. Now, here's the bottom now. There's nothing I can do about this uh, bottom display stand right here. Just like what I said in the introduction, my guess is the uh, sponsoring agency, which is Coors, actually did request it, uh, uh, action around this time to... Uh, that time to have a display stand on the bottom. Now you can actually see there are triangular screws here, but bad news is I don't have a triangular screw. But my best guess is you can get one, uh, get a little set off Amazon doc, off Amazon, or eBay or anywhere else. But I promise you the hardware stores, hardware home improvement stores don't sell them. Let me take a look, look at the hood. Look at that. Really like the hood angle. It opens up like all the way. Which makes it look amazing. Now we have the engine inside. And this engine, it's incredibly detailed. Like the last video. This one is just amazingly detailed. You can see spark plug wires. You can actually see a radiator hose that goes from the radiator to the top of the engine just underneath this uh, cowl air intake right here now let me uh, bring this light down here so that way you can see it there's the engine You can actually see all the spark plug wires. You can see the, uh, and just like what I said, there is a, a radiator hose that runs from the top on the engine to the radiator, or vice versa. I believe there will be a bottom one too. It's just, it just really takes my breath away. You know, having to review a car from 2003 now 2004 there's the inside of the engine I mean not engine the in cockpit area that was my blundering mess up right there oops there we go sorry about that I accidentally uh, turned it off 
go ahead and close that down. Oh, I also forgot a. Uh, there is a NASCAR Nextel Cup Series decal under here. Which was around that time their new uh, title sponsor. Oops. Knocked off. Knocked into my, my little staging area. <laughs> now, I think I've done a review of the 2004 diecast, but I don't think I would do a second one. So, this is actually really amazing. Now, do I actually like this car? Well, yes I do. Only downside is, I really hate having these display stands on the bottom. As much as you know to everybody's annoyance. Now the 164 scale cards I understand, but when I was actually getting a Kevin Harvick die cast, Somebody, there was a, a kid that actually did bought a, uh, one of those little Kevin Harvick Bush Red Apple cars. And the guy, the guy that sold it to them, you know, they asked, hey. And they asked, hey, you want me to uh, cut the uh, display stand off? And they're like, yeah, and then he did. All it was, took a pair, a pair of cutters and actually broke it about halfway and cut it up all the way. Now, I thought that was really amazing. Now, I'm not going to do that to a car like this one or a, a Kirk Busch one that I already have, which is the Monster Energy's Haas Automation car. But you can't understand the rant and the anger that I uh, displayed in that video. So, anyway, if you uh, like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more NASCAR diecast reviews. I publish these out in the best way I can. So, Anyway, my name's Dustin, and I will see you guys in another video.